North Dakota is a very short growing season. It's a race. I haven't even thought about this ground freezing yet. We didn't expect this coming. You know how it is. We get this far, something changes. That's why we were only working from 9 in the morning till 9 at night. Tomorrow, I might do a little tillage in the green areas with that little thing before it freezes. When the ground is frozen, we're done. All right, let's get going. We have a minimal amount of time in the spring and a minimal time in the fall to get planted and then get harvested. That's the farmer's motto, do it when you can. And I didn't do it two weeks ago and it turned around and bit me right in the butt. In Finley, North Dakota, farming is a family business. My grandfather was able to buy this half section in the early 1900s and he was the first owner. The railroad had it, but he was the first owner and that has been in our family ever since. After two plus decades of farming the family land, brothers Roger and Gary Bergstrom handed the reins of Bergstrom Ranch to their sons, Tor and Shannon. We are growing southern crops in northern climate. Where it is challenging is pushing the envelope with growing times. You grow a 90-day corn up here, and this year it made it. Three years ago it didn't, and it froze. See, we can get it frost at any time now. And with their crop still on the ground and corn prices at record highs, Bergstrom Farms can't afford to waste any time. With winter coming, you don't have a week to let that ground dry. You know, it could freeze in that week, and then you're not gonna do anything. I was listening to the radio today, and all of a sudden there's this massive cold front dropping down on Wednesday. You need to get it done now, and if you can go, you need to go. We haven't had tillage out, and you gotta get your corn stalks dug under the ground before the winter. I would hate to see something come in. You're, you know, you're right. I you, think it, you think it's too chunky? No. Well, then go. It's not. There is no avoiding, worst case scenario. Becoming a farmer, you learn really fast that you don't worry about the weather. When it happens, you gotta roll with it. If you don't, you're gonna go through tons of tums and have ulcers your whole life. As long as we don't get that super heavy, sloppy snow and all this corn ends up on the ground. Flat. <laughs> don't say that. A small window of opportunity just became smaller. And not knowing what is on the other side of this cold front or how long it will last, motivates the Bergstroms to cover as much ground as possible. We probably don't have enough equipment for the size of our farm, but with our Challenger tractors, we can get so much done. But I mean, if we had other stuff, we probably, well, we couldn't get it done. I know we couldn't. With a winter advisory looming, getting the crops out in time is not the only concern. Tilling the ground in preparation for next year's season could be in jeopardy. Will this cold front end their season early? If it freezes solid for like a week to 10 days, well, we can't dig. I hope it don't last for 10 days. 